Welcome to Own Your Destiny. In this video, we're going to give you a basic tutorial on how to use Discord and also explain each of the individual channels in the Own Your Destiny server and what each of them is for. Discord is a great platform that makes communicating with a big group of people very easy, but admittedly it is a little confusing and it's not super intuitive for brand new users that have never used it before. Once you've figured it out, however, it's quite simple. So we're here today to help you get over that initial hurdle. One quick note, this video has a lot of information. So we've included timestamps in the description so you can jump to whatever part of the video you're wondering about more easily. Please check those out if you came here to learn about something specific and don't necessarily need to watch the whole video. After passing your host audition, you'll receive a welcome email from us that will include an invite link to join the Own Your Destiny Discord server. If you don't already have a Discord account, Clicking on the link will prompt you to make one, so you'll have to do that first. If you're primarily using a computer, we recommend downloading the desktop application rather than using the web browser version. If you're primarily using your phone, you'll have to download the Discord app. We recommend doing this as well, even if you're using it on the computer. After making your account and clicking the invite link, you'll be taken to the Own Your Destiny server. At first, the only channel you'll be able to access is the Welcome channel, which is a landing zone. Discord has a system of roles where you can only access channels if you have the corresponding server role assigned to you. So once you join, you'll need to select the right role. In the Welcome channel, there's a menu that displays all of the different roles our server has. Simply click on the emote that represents which platform you're going to be using to give yourself the corresponding role. Once you've done this, you'll be able to access the rest of the channels that are relevant to that platform. Please only give yourself a role if you're actually going to use the platform in question. If you give yourself a role that you're not supposed to have, we'll remove it from your profile. Please also make sure to change your Discord nickname so that it's the same ID or username on whichever platform you're using. If you're on a computer, you do this by clicking the arrow in the top left corner next to where it shows the server name. Then, from the drop-down menu, click on Change Nickname. If you're on mobile, swipe over from left to right so that you see the list of channels and servers. Then tap the three dots next to where it shows the server name. On the next screen, choose Change Nickname. Before we get into a breakdown of each of the specific channels on our server and what they're for, let's go over how to do some of the basic stuff in Discord. When you open the app, the far left column displays all of the different Discord servers you're a member of. If you've just made an account, Own Your Destiny will be the only one that you see here. Right next to it, you'll see a list of the channels in whatever server you've currently got selected. On the computer, you'll also be able to see the contents of whatever channel you've got selected, which will most likely just be chat messages. You'll also see the channel's description at the top of the screen. On mobile, you'll have to select a channel and then swipe right to left to display the channel's contents. On the right side of the screen, you'll see a list of all of the members of the server who have access to the channel you're currently in. In the top right corner, you'll see a pushpin icon. Clicking on this will bring up a list of all of the pinned messages in that channel. Remember this because it's very important. Some of our channels have extremely important information and links pinned in them, and this button is how you access that. On mobile, you'll have to swipe from right to left one more time to see the member list, and near the top of that screen is where you'll see the pins button. To change any of your personal account settings, click the gear icon in the bottom left corner of the screen on a computer. On your phone, swipe to make sure you're looking at the server slash channel list and tap on your profile picture in the bottom right corner to bring up your settings menu. To access your DMs, click on the home button in the top left corner of the computer screen and the channel list will be replaced by a list of users that you've got DM history with. On mobile, swipe all the way over to the left so you're viewing the server slash channel list, then tap on the message icon in the corner of the screen. To send another user a friend request, right click their name in any text channel or in the user list then click Add Friend. 
You can see any requests that others have sent you by clicking on the same home button that brings you to your DM list and then clicking on the friends tab. At the top of the screen, you'll see a tab that says pending. If you've gotten any friend requests, you'll see a number next to that tab telling you how many requests you've got waiting. To do this on mobile, swipe all the way to the right so you see the user list and tap on anyone's name or tap on their profile picture in any text channel, then tap add friend. To see your friend requests, swipe over to the server slash channel view, then tap the icon of a person at the bottom of the screen. To mention a specific user in a message, just type the at symbol and then start typing their name. A list will pop up and you can select the user you're trying to mention. You can also use the at symbol to mention a specific role in the server. For example, you can type at Bego and the message will automatically mention everyone with the Bego role. Please use this responsibly. On mobile, you can also tap directly on someone's username in any text channel to automatically add a mention of them to your message. Please note that the rest of this video is specific to Bego, so if you're not using that platform, you can skip to the outro of this video. Now that we're a little more familiar with navigating Discord, let's go over each of the channels in our server and what they're for. We've already talked about the welcome channel. Next is the announcements channel. It's a channel that only we admins are able to post messages in, but everyone is able to see the channel, read whatever we post, and send reactions to the messages. We use this channel for announcing important news about Bego, posting weekly reports that display everyone's broadcasting stats for the month, or to talk about new things we're doing with the agency. Next is the general channel. This is a basic channel that's used for non-specific chit-chat amongst members of our agency. Next is the family chat channel. You'll only have access to this channel if you're a member of our family on Bego, which is called Dynasty. After passing your audition, we'll send you an invite to the family so you'll immediately have a built-in group of people to hang out with. Next is the event signups channel. This channel is where you're going to access the signup links for special Bego performance events like the Live House. The current signup links will always be pinned in this channel, so make sure to check the pins frequently to find them. This channel is also where we'll be posting Live House schedules anytime anyone gets a slot. Next is the Agency PKs channel. Much like the event signups channel, this is where you'll find links to sign up for Bego's official agency PKs. There are all different types of PK events and they do get changed around every month, so be sure to read through the pinned links for explanations of each type of PK and what kind of rewards they offer. This channel is also where we post the agency PK schedules every day. Next is the Family PKs channel. Unlike the previous two, this channel does not contain signup links for Bego official Family PKs, as those links are actually sent directly to everyone's Bego inbox. However, this is still a channel where we post the schedules for any time someone in our family dynasty gets scheduled for one of these PKs. You'll only be able to access this channel if you're a member of Dynasty. It's the responsibility of family leaders to inform their family members when they're scheduled for a family PK. So if you do end up joining a different family eventually, we won't be the ones informing you of your official family PKs. You'll need to ask your new family leader for the schedule. Next is the PK Strategy Channel. This channel is for discussing details about upcoming PKs, everything from coordinating big drops to help each other win their PKs, to informing us if you can't do a scheduled PK for some reason and need someone to cover for you. Next up is arguably the most important channel in the whole server, the support channel. Whenever you have any questions, concerns, or problems, post them here in the support channel. Please do not reach out to us on social media, email, or WhatsApp with questions about Bego, even if that's how we may have been corresponding with you up until your audition. Due to the immense volume of agency-related correspondence that we get daily, we are not able to answer DMs on any social media platforms. 
This is exactly what the support channel is here for, and aside from the help and advice you're going to get from us, you'll also be able to get help and advice from other experienced broadcasters. We have a lot of experienced hosts on the server, so they're going to be able to answer your questions and give you advice even if we're not available ourselves when you ask. Please also be sure to check the pins in this channel, as there are links in there to the information pages on our website that provide you with all of the basic basic information about Bigo that you could hope for. We've also sent you those links in the welcome email after you passed your audition, so please be sure to thoroughly read that information before you start asking questions. The vast majority of the questions you'll ask in your first few weeks are answered already on that information page. Next is the coaching channel. This channel is also very important as a new host, as this is a space where you can sign up for coaching sessions with some of our more experienced hosts. We recommend at least one coaching session for all broadcasters, especially when you're new. Just write a message and tag the at coach role and let our coaches know what you want advice on. You're encouraged to use this service of the agency anytime you want, even if you've been around for a while and you just want to throw some ideas back and forth with someone. Next is the screenshots channel. Every time you do an official Bigo PK, you're going to have to take a screenshot at the end of it that shows the scores of both yourself and your opponent. This way, the Bigo admins have proof that you've attended the PK and know to send you your reward. Whenever you finish an official PK, please take a screenshot and post it in this channel immediately so we can submit it to the admins. An important note to remember, please do not just post screenshots with no context. Use a photo editing app of some kind to put the text on the screenshot with your ID, your opponent's ID, the name of the PK event, and the date and time of the PK, as shown in these examples. If you don't include this information, it's very very possible that you'll never receive your reward for doing the PK because the admins won't know which PK it was or who attended it. Next is the live notices channel. You can use this channel to tell everyone that you're going live or to quickly jump to someone else's broadcast who announced that they're going live. We encourage you to use this channel in both ways to support your fellow hosts in the agency and to give them a chance to support you. Next up is the Flyers to Share channel. People on Beagle love making flyers and we do recommend that you make them yourself when you've got something fun coming up. Host will make flyers for everything from auditions to upcoming PKs to scheduled live house slots and to special events they've organized themselves. If you decide to make a flyer for anything special or exciting that you've got coming up, drop it in here so others can know about it and even share it on their own Beagle walls to help support you. Finally, there are the Recommended Gear channel and the Tips channel. These are locked channels that no one can send messages to as they're just here for information. The Recommended Gear channel includes Amazon links to a few pieces of gear that will help increase the quality of your live streams, and the Tips channel includes some official Bigo educational resources with useful advice about making your stream as good as it can be. One final note about the server in general. I know that not all of you are on Discord already, and believe me, I understand that it's annoying sometimes to make an account on a new platform that you've never used and have to learn it. But please, when you join the server, be active on it. Discord is the only place where everyone in our agency is gathered all together. And if you join the server and then never say a word in there, no one is gonna know you exist. We're here to help you, but we're not here to babysit you. If you're not in the server asking questions or generally be an active member of the community, Community, we're not going to go chasing after you to figure out how things are going. We have plenty of experienced hosts in the server that would love to help you out. Your success at the beginning of your streaming career is directly correlated with how much you use this Discord server. We spent a lot of time and effort putting these resources in place for you, so use them. And besides that, we reward active members of our community. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.